Bangalore, once called the Garden City, now buried under heat, concrete and silence. The trees are fewer, the mornings warmer. The silence between birdsong and honking horns stretches longer every year. It's not that the weather is bad, it's just different now, drier, louder, heavier. <coughs> this air burns my throat. Was it always this bad? It's only 9 a.m. Why does it feel like noon? Electricity is up again. We didn't even use the AC much this month. No water again. Second day in a row. People throw waste everywhere. Don't they care? No fan, no light, and I still have schoolwork. This city was green once. Beta, you could walk from one lake to another under the shade of trees. Rain didn't scare us. We'd walk, talk and splash. Lakes were open and alive, just like the people. We played on shaded roads, barefoot, laughing till sunset. A young team of designers and engineers, quietly working together. Each step, a small move toward a better tomorrow. This isn't just a building, it's a living system quietly generating more than it takes. 8.36 million litres of rainwater are harvested and 90% of wastewater is recycled and reused, right down to the last drop. 80% of waste is turned into biogas, fertilizer, and community impact, all traceable in real time. It produces 975 megawatt hours a year, powered by sun and wind, not the grid. By reusing materials and switching to bamboo, we cut embodied carbon by 75% and kept our oldest trees standing. Comfort isn't powered, it's designed. Daylight and fresh air flow freely, without a compressor in sight. Vertical gardens cool the surroundings by 2 degrees Celsius. From children to elders, everyone learns net zero living with the EcoTrack app, monitoring air, water and light, while native plants and smart irrigation keep the roots wise. This is Mahindra Vasudha. Team Pargami's vision of a city that breathes, learns, and leads by example. 